What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about a little bit about my uh, diet, okay? How I eat and um, and yeah, and that's and this is the way I look so I just wanted to show you guys, you see, I eat, I would say 90% of the time I eat good, 10% of the time I, I, I fuck around, you know, like everybody and I think it's a much more uh, sustainable way, uh, sustainable approach to, to eating, okay, and, and you know, to, to maintain your weight and to be healthy and stuff like that, and um, let's not lie to each other, like, when you, when you look good without your shirt on, like, you know, it's, 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 it's gratifying, okay, so anyways, uh, before I, I get into it a little bit more, uh, take a second to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so, this is how I look. I'm right now. I'm actually like five eight, by the way. Okay, five eight, five nine, and I weigh about um, in seventy one point five kilos, which is like one hundred fifty seven pounds. Okay, and right now I'm I'm like competition weight because I compete um, at minus seventy three uh, kilograms, <coughs> kilos. So this is how I eat. I'm on a ketogenic diet. Okay, so and I follow it loosely. You see. 90% of the time, 10% of the time, I do whatever the heck I want, you know? Uh, but I, I also noticed that when you're on it for a while, you notice that when you fuck around too much, uh, you know, on your cheat day, so to speak, and sometimes it's more like cheat moments for me, it's not cheat days, you know? It's not like I take a whole day, I don't take like the whole weekend and cheat, or I just don't take one whole day and just eat like fucking pure garbage, you know? Because the thing is, after a while, when your body adapts to eating a certain way, like like healthy, when you when your body adapts to eating healthy and you start eating crap, you're gonna feel it right away, like in your energy levels and all that. Okay, so uh, ketogenic uh, style uh, type of diet. So what it is is that I stay away from carbs. Okay, and that's hard for the first two weeks. Then your body adjusts to uh, running on on fat because that's what you're essentially doing when you're on a ketogenic diet. So a lot of fats. So I would say. Uh, the, the, the one that I follow is like 75% fats, um, uh, 20, oh, sorry, 70% fat, 25%, uh, blah, 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 what's that other thing? Oh, protein, sorry. And then after that, like 5% um, uh, uh, carbs. And all my carbs, I get them from mostly vegetables, okay? Because there's vegetables and carbs. So... You know, that's, that's, that's the ratio there, uh, more or less, for the ketogenic diet. So I follow that. Um, I, I also do fasting and time-restricted uh, dieting. Okay, I started that about uh, maybe two months ago, and it's going great. Like, uh, I was at about 73, almost 74 kilos, and then I just I dropped like three kilos, right? And like nothing, you know? And you get really used to it. And actually, your energy levels are higher, I feel. And I think recovery, yeah, that's like a boat, like that's, that's really important for me, recovery, right? So it works out well and then you end up looking pretty ripped. Like you end up, like I'm gonna get a little bit more muscular on the off season because I plan to go uh, lift some weights and go through a periodization, uh, uh, you know, of strength and stuff like that for, for my sport, for judo. But that's essentially it. So when I wake up in the morning, um, I have a coffee, so... I'm kind of breaking fast, but whatever, you know, it's, once again, like, if you really want to be literal about it, you can't even have, you could only have water until, not, you can't even have tea or coffee, you could only have water until, like, you break your fast, but anyways, I have my damn coffee, and sometimes I'll put some, uh, some coconut oil or some butter in it, whatever, and after that, at noon, uh, that's when I'll, I'll start eating, if I feel like eating, sometimes I don't even feel like eating, but from noon until 8 p.m., that's my window, that's the time restricted uh, uh, part of, uh, of the day. That's where I, I have that window where I could eat. After that, around eight o'clock, I don't eat. <clears throat> Once again, um, how do you say it? It's 90% of the time I eat good, 10% of the time I fuck around. And that 10% of the time, it's not on a particular day. It's more moments, you know? It could be on a particular day, but like, like for example, last night uh, after judo, we went out and we had, uh, what we had, yeah, we had beer, you know, and, and some uh, and, and some fries. So hey, you know, like just have some fun, man. No, no, no worry, you know. Uh, and then the other day too, uh, it was my wife's birthday during the week, so we went out to a restaurant and we ate, 
you know, and I had carbs, I had this, I had that, I had rice, I had a whole bunch of stuff that I usually don't eat. And um, no big deal, right? It doesn't affect you 10% of the time what you do. But with time, you're going to realize that even, even times that you cheat, you, you'll feel less and less uh, like you, you'll feel less and less prone to cheating because it's going to affect the way you feel and your recovery also. You're going to kind of feel it. As you get older, I find our bodies get more uh, sensitive for whatever reason. You know, maybe it's damage. Maybe it's just us being more aware of our bodies and, and you know, and, and, you know, of course, the aging process and stuff like that. So, like, we've got a little, a little bit more pain uh, here and there. So, you know, we really have to be a little bit more careful. And I think it's, it's a good thing, in a sense, if you're more sensitive to how your body feels and how it functions. Because then you can take care of it. You don't want to just not feel anything and have shit fall off and break. And then you, you know, you end up uh, being permanently or, or, or severely handicapped and, you know, that type of stuff. So... To reiterate, fasting, 16 hours a day, uh, then after that, time-restricted dieting, so from 12 to 8 p.m., that's when I eat. I'm more on a ketogenic thing, and yes, I do cheat. Yes, I have beers. Yes, I have, uh, I have fries whenever I want or whenever, you know, like uh, there's, there's a little special occasion with family or friends. You know, it's no big deal, and uh, hey, still looking good, you know? Just uh, like I think what it is is that the carbs really, re like the processed carbs really, really fuck you up. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope uh, that was a little bit uh, insightful for, for you guys. And uh, hey, give it a shot and let me know how it, uh, how it feels. If you guys have any questions, just leave it down there in the comments and I'll get back to you for sure. And uh, that's it. So if before, before you guys leave, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah. Share the video. It helps. Help me grow, guys. All right. Peace. Ooh.